Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to go check something out that I made a video of uh, about two years ago. Uh, some then and now, I actually made two videos, some then and now pictures. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a bit. But the one place I did it of, I actually burnt down uh, this, this past summer. Yeah, last fall or last summer. And I forgot that even happened. I was out on the road, but I remember seeing the news articles about it. It's a real historic... Uh, place that we'll, we'll get to it. We're gonna get we're gonna get going here. We're gonna take Bella. We're gonna take the little car today. The bounder can just stay here. No need to take it. Come on, Bella. Let's go. I'll get your leash. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Ready? Okay, go. Okay, come on. Go on. Get in the car. Believe it or not, it's it's cold here. Look, I, I collected rainwater for uh, maybe to wash the bounder of the car. It's got ice on it. The weather, I mean, the temperatures have been nice, but um, M Mother Nature had to throw in one last little cold blast here for you know, three or four days. It's supposed to actually snow for just a little bit today. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, it's been like 70-ish and uh, 50s at night. You know, it's getting pretty comfortable. And then, um, then this last little blast had to sneak in. But the uh, extended forecast is looking good, though. We'll be we'll be back in good temps here soon. And we're gonna need the dash cam. I've never <laughs> I've never had the dash cam in the Focus before, but uh, got my little suction cup set up here. And just because of the way the dashboard is slanted. <laughs> um, I have to make the run the camera upside down. I hope it auto rotates. What do you think? What do you, what do you think? You can go for a ride in the car? Hmm? You ready to go? Let's do it. What? Did you see something? Is there? You see a bad? I see a bad kitty over in that yard way over there. What is that? You see a bad kitty? Huh? Did you see that kitties? Alright, I think I got the dash cam set here. I can plug it into my little digital readout thing here. I think that's gonna work. We're actually on our way out to Cookie Creek Lake Park today. Uh, see if we can get a feel for when the campground might be opening. If it's gonna be on schedule or not find that out today. The good news is that Pennsylvania is beginning to lift restrictions uh, on this uh, COVID virus thing. I seen a map this morning. Uh, the top left, the, the northwest corner of the state, yeah, on the map it's the tan, the tan area. Uh, it was, uh, restrictions were not lifted, but at least they were eased up some. I, I don't know the particulars of that exactly, but you know, for businesses, can some at least can start reopening to some extent. Uh, the stay-at-home thing, I, I, I don't know how much, I don't know the particulars of it, but that was on the 8th. Um, and then the area on the, in the yellow is, is set to open on the, um, on the 15th so um, that's you know probably a little bit over half the state now that is uh, reopening now we're going to see a an old hotel it's called the Belvedere Hotel and I did a a little video on it, uh, yeah, two years ago. I did two back-to-back -back videos. I'll put those at the end of this video for suggested videos on the end screen. The videos that pop up there to watch next. I'll put those both at the end. One's called Leechburg Then and Now. The other one is uh, called the Belvedere Hotel. Uh, those are really interesting. I, I really like doing these. 
takes a little bit to do them. Um, but, but it's fun and interesting. Anyway, we'll get down here and check this place out. Okay, down here at the stop sign on the right hand side, there's this big giant hotel. Oh my god, I can't believe that's been there for so many years. Oh, let me get turned around. Right here in the grassy area on the right. No trespassing violators will be criminally prosecuted. Maybe they don't want people digging for fossils. <laughs> or whatever. Relics. <laughs> fossils. Let me get down here and turn around. You know, we used to live way out here back when I was a, a kid. And we'd come into town and, and pass this place. And this place has been here. You know, just one of them things when you... You know, you've seen forever and ever since you was a kid, and all of a sudden one day it's gone. I'm maybe just gonna grab a quick screenshot of this and then um, I'll compare it with I'll stick in a little video clip here from that old video. I still have that video file We'll stick in the clip here Now, I did do a couple of other uh, areas here in town. This is a Apollo, Pennsylvania. And I did some other things here in town, if you want to see that. Maybe I'll show one more clip here. I think there's a pretty cool one of a, another hotel in town here. Uh, then and now, where there's a, a streetcar, an old streetcar in the, the then picture. So if you like those sort of things, uh, again, at the very end of the video, I'll put those um, on the end screen for suggested videos, suggested to watch next videos. Bella, bella, bella. Bella. right up here uh, Roaring Run Trail North Apollo access uh, this is a rails to trails access point or trailhead it's pretty convenient Let's stop here for a few minutes in case Bella has to go do some business she just went a little bit ago um, she's at um, back at the RV but she's acting pretty excited here so maybe she's just happy and anxious to be out driving around that could be it what is it girl yeah she might just be happy to be out out and about for a drive being a little bit overly excited she did pee a little <laughs> A little. I think she's just excited to be out. Um, actually, the re what started this video is we actually want to take a. Um, this is just a stop on the way to somewhere else. We, uh, I want to go out to Crooked Creek. It's uh, an Army Corps of Engineer facility. If you've been with the channel for a while, you know that's kind of my m most favorite local campground. Uh, I don't know what's. What's going on with it? With the uh, if they're 
if the campground's going to be opening soon or what. But there's not a lot available online about it on their on the web page on the Army Corps of Engineers web page and uh, or their Facebook page. So I thought maybe I'd take a ride out and for the sake of just going for a ride and <laughs> and uh, maybe some signage will tell the story, say a little bit more about whether they're going to be open or not. And there might be one more place, a uh, uh, point of interest on the way we might want to stop at. It's nothing real grand and exciting, but uh, it, it's, it, I think it's interesting. We'll maybe stop there real quick. Come on, Bella. Yeah, we're going to have to cook it quick. She can just wait till then and we'll get some walk time or run time in. Yeah, she's just happy to be out. Come on, come on. What, does that big yard get old after a while? She says, I like to be out exploring. Let's go do some more. Go on. <laughs> what? What? Are you happy to be out? You know, in the RV, hang on. You know, in the RV, a lot of people often say, You're, she's awful. Um, you know, pacing around a lot, and I think she has to go to the bathroom. And no, she just gets like this. We'll be, we'll be traveling. And she's gonna be up and see it, and you know, pacing a little bit, not not extensively, not too bad. But uh, she's not a dog to lay down and take a nap while we drive. Even if it's a long driving day, if we're driving three, four, five hours, <laughs> um, she'll be sitting there and just watching um, the whole time, just like a human. He sits up and watches. See, I love traveling. Huh? See, I love traveling. You ready to go? Are you ready to go? <laughs> that don't know it or didn't know it there's a uh, route 66 <laughs> Pennsylvania has its own route 66 I can't wait till Wednesday Wednesday I think is the day it's supposed to really it's gonna ease up temperatures are gonna rise slowly but by Wednesday it should be pretty nice Here's the old original Uncle Charlie's Sausage Company. Now we're at a site that used to be Lee's Lanes, which was um, a bowling alley. And uh, I believe it closed, and unless it's still in the far part of the building, I remember they closed it uh, a year or two ago, but at least this part of the building now is Laurel Awning Company. I wonder if they do RV awnings. <laughs> uh, so I'll have to check that out. But we're also at the site of a surviving, one of the few surviving driving uh, theaters uh apparently they're now hiring but i did look at their website they are they're not showing movies during this uh covid virus thing but the snack bar it says over there um it said on the website uh that the snack bar is open certain days and over there it says uh thursday and saturday takeout 12 to 8. so it's funny that a little one of those little restaurant drive-in theater snack bar things um 
bothers to open. But the reason I stopped here, <laughs> the reason I stopped here is this, this little road, this little marker over here that, you know, once it gets spring and summer and all the vegetation's grown up thicker, you can't even see it over here. And I passed this a couple times in the past and I always kind of wondered what it was all about. And I did stop and check it out one day. Before I show you that, I did uh, do a little bit of research online and in behind, the, right here in front of these hills, there's this where the drive-in theater is and Lee's, Lane is, uh, Lee's Lanes is, is like this big triangle. And I guess that used to be kind of like an, um, an, an Indian settlement or an Indian trading post. Uh, of course, I did that after I read this. And they did this on a big old uh, grindstone or grind wheel, whatever you call those. But um, this Indian trail uh, leading to the west here crossed river to the Kiskaminitis Old Town on opposite flat, used by Conrad Weiser, 1748, and CF Post, 1756. Uh, both on mission to Indians on Ohio for Pennsylvania government. Uh, posted by the Leesburg Rotary Club. So, I don't know if you could uh, into that sort of thing to do any Googling and check out the history of that, but I guess this marks the trail where they uh, trail to something, somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it's a good place to cross the river, I don't know. But hey, the uh, snow's picking up a little bit. The wind a little bit it's cold out here <laughs> all right we're gonna get on out the crooked creek and see what's going on out there is it crick or creek i stay both sometimes <laughs> temperatures I don't know what this is. see say it's okay here in the car <laughs> I right, will get out of here Okay, we're entering downtown Leech Park, and this is where I took the first uh, then and now uh, video. I suppose we ought to show maybe one clip here real quick for this street. That clip was actually taken from way down there facing, way down on the next block facing up in this direction. So we're facing the opposite way, but uh, anyway, that's uh, some more then and now. It's a little bit tricky. You gotta go to a local, went to the local museum, went in and browsed around some photo albums and um, found a couple of photos that I recognized the location took a picture of it with my phone and then went to that location and tried to duplicate exactly you know where where that the original picture was taken from take a photo uh, crop it you know as close to the original as I could and then uh, in editing uh, just kind of blend it or fade it from one to the other so all right this is the road I think this is yeah 
Yeah, we're still on 66 North. So this will go up to uh, towards Ford City, Pennsylvania. Uh, for Crooked Creek Sap. There we go, somebody's out in there. They got the Winnebago Brave. <laughs> somebody's out in their class, eh? We really didn't need to take the binder today. Uh, we're just not staying anywhere uh, overnight, so we're kind of we're staying local, so just, there's no point in taking the binder. Okay, here's where we turn up the Crooked Creek, and there's a little store down here that has all the basic necessities. Right up here is the dump station. And they have, look at that, it's barricaded. Um, but there's a pavilion and hiking and the disc golf courses up there. And they have it uh, barricaded off. No disc golf, no RV dumping. Oh no, and this entrance up here, oh no. <laughs> this isn't looking good. Here's the entrance by the, uh, the ranger station. And there doesn't appear to be any uh, rangers on duty today. Unless they're out uh, driving around the park. Nobody appears to be here at the office. Well then. What the signage says. Uh, the sign says, in the interest of public safety, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is, has closed this facility. These precautions are being taken to dec decrease the risk to public health and safety. Query should be directed to the Pittsburgh District Public Affairs Office. Actually, the campground is at the other end of the park. I'm certain it's closed. But the boat ramp is supposed to be open. <laughs> Oop. Put the bump there. Yeah, it turns out the, uh, the one update I do see online is on uh, Crooked Creek's uh, Facebook page. And they will, depending on how much it's rained, if the water comes up, uh, let me back up a minute. The Crooked Creek Lake is a, uh, the dam, which uh, was to the right back there, is a flood control dam. So it holds back water, you know, for a while when it rains heavily, so the areas below don't flood. Oops, I got a turn here somewhere. Um, 
so when the water rises, you know, debris like logs and branches and stuff um, get up on the boat lamp, uh, the boat ramp or boat launch, and um, they close it. And I've seen and they'll post that boat ramp, boat ramp. <laughs> what do I want to call it? The boat ranch. It's a, it's a combination of launch and ramp. rickety road here <coughs> excuse me and then when they the water goes down and they clear the, the debris uh, they'll post that okay the boat ramp is now open so it's, it's okay to be out boating in the in the lake but don't, uh, don't be walking your dog in our park or playing disc golf. You know, disc golf is, uh, is social distancing as, as is regular golf. You know, you get a couple of people. You know, it's, I don't know. It's certainly groups of less than 10. Lucky if it's a group of four. Yeah, here we are. There's the campground off to the right. Now, let me see if we can turn my camera a little bit. Yeah, up in there is the uh, is the campground. Uh, they do have a couple of parking spots right here before. Maybe we can take a little quick walk on this corner of the park here. Bella, come. All right. Gonna let Bella run and sniff around just a little bit here. Actually, I think she's supposed to be on a leash in this park. Yikes. Oops. We're just gonna come down here for a minute. Then we're gonna be on our way. Maybe we'll take a ride down to the boat ramp. Where are you going in them woods, girl? Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, Bella is feeling good. Come on, girl. Come on. Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. This way. Hey, come on. Come on. This way. Come on. This way. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. All right, we're going to go. Seeing as uh, this park is 99% closed, <laughs> it seems this little corner... We're gonna get out of here. I don't. Case the ranger is uh, driving around somewhere. Yeah, I don't want questioned or given a hard time. <laughs> and seeing as it's closed and the public restrooms are closed, I found those uh, those woods to be mighty convenient. <laughs> Come on, Bella. Come on. Come on, girl. Okay, the boat launch is down here. Down over the hill we go. Road narrows. There's a, I can see that down to the left or not, that's the, the lake. Maybe we'll stop down here at a little lookout point. Oh, oh, get some temporary speed bumps here. Looks like we have a little bit of a washout on the left. Oops, didn't put my seatbelt on. Okay, pulled over for just a minute here at this pull-off. A little bit scenic, but that's Crooked Creek Lake, and it, it, it comes around one bend and around this bend and goes up around another bend and then down to the dam. 
fellow's crying, she wants out. <laughs> We're just stopped, just stopped for a minute. It's going down the boat ramp. Uh, boat ramp. I, I guess I did get it right that time. Okay, the gate is open. Yeah, it's just funny that the the boat ramps are open and in every other part of the park is closed. There are a lot of trails here. There's a Laurel Point trail. Is one of them is a pretty extensive one. Uh, it goes up here to the right. Oops. Uh, one of these days I'm going to disable that thing. Yeah, but they've been down here clearing debris, obviously. That boat ramp looks uh, ready to go. Not a single sign or warning or precaution of any sort. Yeah, a lot of good boating here and fishing swimming there's a beach area but it's within uh the closed area it's pretty nice to go down there all right all right all right all right all right i'll put my seatbelt on i'll do it <laughs> hmm? is that that is it nice going out for a ride huh is it all nice going out for a ride hmm is it all nice? All right. Snowing, snowing. I guess that's it. I guess we got the lowdown on the. I still don't know. Uh, maybe I'll have to try calling. I don't. I can never find the number for the. Well, I'll call the main Pittsburgh uh, office. And like that uh, sign said, if the restrictions are. Uh, the travel restrictions and stay at home thing are being backed off or eased off a couple, a level or two um, on the 15th. And actually, the, coincidentally, the regular schedule for the camping area is uh, usually the parks open year round, but the camping area, I believe, is scheduled to be open on the 15th as well. Um, so we'll see. I bet the park, I'd bet the park. It's likely that it will open on the 15th when the these counties um, in this area go from the red level red to level yellow. So now whether the camping ground is included or not, uh, we'll see. But that's it. We're done here. We we is be done. Okay, that's it. That's the extent of the park today. There's some blue sky. It wasn't supposed to snow for very long today, so maybe it'll start clearing up a little bit, get some sunshine. Maybe it'll start warming things up a little bit. And nature had to give us a, one last little push of cold air, I guess. It's just sort of getting nice from here on out.